Okay, so hello guys. So in this video, what I want to do is I want to go over um, 10 examples of how to solve linear inequalities and graph um, their solutions on the number line. So, um, so basically, the idea is that we want to, um, so now that we've done um, rational equations, we want to go ahead and you know, um, solve these inequalities and, you know, learn how to solve basic linear inequalities and graph them on the number line. So um, one thing that I do want to go over is how to um, write these in interval notation. Um, so just to get out of, get that out of the way. Um, so the first one says x over 4 is greater than or equal to 4, so let me write it down. x over 4 is greater than or equal to 4. And by the way, guys, happy um, New Year's Eve if you guys celebrate New Year's. Um, so yeah. Uh, so, so basically, your goal is to get x by itself. This is just like when you do... Um, linear equations, but this time we're, it's just inequalities. And the thing with inequalities is that you're, um, you're also kind of, I mean, you're also graphing them on the number line. So basically what you're going to do here is just isolate X. So you're going to multiply it actually, no, multiply both sides by four to get X by itself. Right. And you always want it to be in terms of x is greater than or equal to something, or x is less than or equal to something, or x is greater than something, or x is less than something, right? Because the thing is, when you do it the other way, it kind of makes the person confused. Um, so yeah, if, if you do end up with something like that, um, just flip it around, right? So... This cancels out, so then we get x is greater than or equal to 16. Now, in interval notation, we know that if x is greater than or equal to a, then in interval notation, this would be parentheses a to infinity, right? So this is what it would be in interval notation. Right now, to write this in interval notation, you would say it would be from 16, so bracket 16 to infinity. Right, so then on the number line, when you do the number line, let me go ahead and draw the number line. So, when you draw the number line like this, when you have it like this, and you have a greater than or equal to, it's going to be a closed dot, so it's going to be a a closed dot like this and then you're shading all the numbers that are greater than or equal to 16 so you're just going to shade to the right right and then you know that that would just be your answer um if they do ask you to put it in interval notation this would be your answer in interval notation and in just in you know as an inequality this would be your answer as an inequality right so um, that is how you do that first one, okay? Oh, by the way, guys, I'm so in this first part, I'm going to do... So for this video, I'm just going to do the very basic linear inequalities, and then in another video, I'll do more difficult ones. Um, so then, so this one, we have x plus 4 is less than or equal to 6, right? So the same thing... You're just going to go ahead and get x by itself. So you have minus 4 on both sides. And then this becomes x is less than or equal to 2. And like I said, you're going to draw a number line. So um, you can do... Let me see. Hold on. You can do a number line. And when you draw the number line, you can... You know, if, if they give you a number line, then that's good. But if you have to draw it, then yeah. So basically, you're going to have here's 0, 
Here's one, here's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on and so forth. And then here's negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, like that. So you're going to go ahead and because it's less than or equal to, you're going to put a closed dot at two and you're going to, you're, you're shading all the row numbers that are less than two. So this represents all row numbers less than or equal to two, right? So basically, you're going to go ahead and just shade to the left, right? So all this should be shaded, right? And that is how you would do it. And again, in, set, in a interval notation, you would say from negative infinity to 2 with a bracket at 2, right? So this is how you would say it in interval interval notation. Okay, so um, that is how you would do it in interval notation. And then, so let me go ahead and look at the next one. Okay, so this one is interesting, right? Negative 8x is less than or equal to 32. So when you have something like this, the idea is, so you're you're still getting x by itself, but there's one thing that you need to keep in mind. So when you divide or multiply by a negative number, you switch the the sign like the inequality symbol right so if we actually solve this for x we're going to divide both sides by negative 8 and we're going to get and the thing is because it's a negative you're going to do x is greater than or equal to negative 4 okay so then this would be your inequality um, so in interval notation, this would be bracket negative four to infinity. And like I said, you're going to go ahead and draw a number line and you're going to put, so here's zero and then negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, and you're going to put... And let's just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. Okay. Um, this would then be, um, this should be negative three. So then you're basically going to just grab negative four and put a closed circle, closed dot, and you're going to shade to the right, okay? Because it's all the real numbers that are greater than or equal to 4, or negative 4, excuse me. So that is how you do that one. Okay, so the fourth one says x plus 4 is greater than or equal to negative 4. So what you're going to do is basically the same thing. You're just going to solve for x. So we have minus 4 on both sides, and then we get x is greater than or equal to negative 8. That's basically it. And so you're going to go ahead and just draw the number line. And we have, so let's do, um, let me try to do, okay, so let me do negative 8 negative 7, negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 
two. And then three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight, right? So like this. And so you're just gonna grab, you're gonna put a closed dot at negative eight and then shade all the real numbers that are greater than or equal to negative eight, right? So, that is how you do that, right? So, um, and in interval notation again, it's gonna be from bracket negative eight to infinity because you're going from negative eight to infinity, right? So that is how you do that one. Okay, so then we get to number five. Number five says x minus six is greater than two. So again, you're just going to add six to both sides. You get x is greater than eight. And here's the thing. In interval notation, when you have greater than, just greater than, you're going to just, when you have x is greater than a, this becomes the the um, interval parentheses a to infinity parentheses, right? So really, this is going to be um, this is going to be so this right here would be parentheses eight comma infinity as your answer. And when you graph it, so let me just draw a number line. Okay, so when you draw the number line, you have from eight to infinity, right? So what you're gonna do when that happens, you're going to put an open circle on the number. So basically, it would be like this from eight and then to infinity. So you're just gonna shade all the numbers that are greater than eight. But you have to put an open circle at eight because it's a parentheses and it's not included in the interval. It's greater than eight. So X is greater than eight, meaning that it is not included as a solution set, right? or as a solution in, in the solution set. So that is how you do that one. Okay guys, so I got rid of the last two because those are two step, and for right now, I just wanna focus on one step, linear inequalities. So I'm gonna do number six and then number seven, and that'll be it, or and then number eight, and then that'll be it. So, um, so number six says seven X. So seven X, I believe it said greater than or less than 14, right? So we have seven X is less than 14. So again, you're just gonna divide by seven and you're gonna get X is less than two. So this, just goes, so basically you have zero here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just do it like that, and then negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. So when you graph it, you're gonna do, you're gonna do an open, circle so open circle at two so really it's going to be like this right and then you're going to shade all the numbers that are less than that so like this right and in interval notation um this would be from negative infinity to positive two with a parentheses at two because you're not including it in the interval, okay? So really, 
you know, this is how it would be. Um, so that is how you do that one. Okay, so number seven says x minus two is greater than or equal to negative three. So you're just gonna go ahead and add two to both sides. And this would be x is greater than or equal to negative one. So again, um, in interval notation, it'd be bracket negative one to infinity. When you graph it, so when you graph it on the number line, here's zero, here's negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. Let me go ahead and finish drawing this. Okay, so um, basically you're gonna go ahead and just put a closed circle at negative one or, or dot, closed dot at negative one, and then shade all the real numbers that are greater than or equal to negative one, right? So just shade to the right, basically. And so in interval notation, it'd be from negative one to infinity, right? And this would be your answer in um, kind of inequality form, right? So um, that is how you do that one. Okay, so x minus 9 is less than negative 1, so you're going to add a 9 to both sides. This gives you x is less than 8, and so we're going to go ahead and draw, put an open circle or open dot at 8, and it's all the real numbers that are less than 8, so you're just going to shade to the left, right? And then in interval notation, this would be um, this would be from negative infinity to eight, and then a parenthesis at eight. So that is how you do these problems, guys. Um, these are very basic. Um, they're really one step, um, like one step inequalities. So. Um, really they're not as difficult. Um, so in the next video that I will do, I'm going to do some that are a little bit more complicated, just like I did with, um, you know, with rational equations. I'm going to just kind of go a little bit harder in the next video. Um, so I really hope this helps, guys, and if you guys have any questions, please let me know. And Thank you so much for watching, and please like, comment, and or subscribe. And also, Happy New Year's to everybody. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.